the Smart Lab How to Video Series. This video is how to create a game show activity. Smart Lab has a new wizard and a new game show activity. Let's use the new wizard to create the activity. In an open notebook file, on the top menu, I'm going to press the lab icon to open the new wizard. I'm going to locate the Game Show button. I'm going to press that to open the Game Show Wizard. Before I start creating the game, at the top right, I just want to point out a, two things. There's a Help button that you can press to open the details about lab activities on the support site. And next to that, you can press the hamburger icon to open the Manage Content window and it gives you the ability to create custom lists that you can use in other lab activities. Let's start to create our game. I'm going to select true or false as my question type and then I'm going to type in my first question. There are two solstices in a year. At the bottom, you can see I have 116 characters remaining. And under that, I'm going to select true because this is a true statement. Actually, sorry about that. And then at the top, I'm going to press add question to add in my next question. The summer solstice occurs in July. In this case, this is a false answer, so I'm going to select false, and then I'm going to tap add question there. And I continue this until all my questions are done. When I'm done in adding all my questions, at the top right, I can press save to save this game. And when I'm done that, I can press next. On the screen, I can review all my questions and answers, and when I'm done reviewing, I can press Finish. This publishes my game, and the game will appear. When the game is, when the game is ready, the stage appears, and I can press Start to open the game show. On the screen, you'll see the game show host, and the game wheel in the middle of the screen and a scoreboard on each side of the wheel with a contestant that is represented by one of the lab monsters. The game show host is currently on the left side of the wheel which means that the contestant on that side of the wheel has the first turn to spin. Before we start the game let's talk about the wheel. When a contestant lands on a question mark they get to answer a question for 100 points. When a contestant lands on a star, that's called a power-up and you have an extra advantage in the game which we'll explain a little bit later on. When a contestant lands on X2, that means they get to play for double the 100 points. Let's start the game. Contestant number one. Press the wheel anywhere to start the spin. The wheel stopped on a question mark, which means the contestant number one gets to answer a question. The winter stolosis occurs in December. And contestant number one selects true. That's correct. He got 100 points for answering this question. The game show host can press continue to continue the game and you can see that contestant number one now has a hundred points on his scoreboard. The game show host is now on the right side of the screen which means contestant number two gets to spin the wheel. Contestant two, you landed on a power-up. Click the power-up to find out what you got. This power-up allows you to remove an incorrect option. Let's spin the wheel again to get your question. You 
you land on a question mark. The summer solstice occurs in July. Now contestant number two, you have the power up symbol, which means you can use the power up right now if you want. If you press this, one of your answer options goes away. He, he took his power up. You can see now he only has one answer to choose from. He wasn't sure of the answer. He can press that answer now. And he got his 100 points. That's correct. Let's continue the game. Contestant number one, it's your turn to spin. You get double the points. The next question is worth all those points. Contestant number one, spin the wheel again. Here is your question for 200 points. The winter solstice is the longest night of the year. And which one's he picking? Oh, he can't make up his mind. He's picking false. Oh, no, that's incorrect. Let's give the other team a try. This time it's worth half the points. Which is your answer? The other one picked false, so this time it must be true. That's correct. Let's continue the game. Actually, the game is over. That was all the questions. Good game. And to review, contestant number one won with only 100 points more. Let's review the game. The summer solstice is also called the July solstice. This is false. There are two solstices in a year. This is true. Let's go down all the answers, review all the answers, and when we're done, the game is done. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos in this how-to video series.